Why do people fail at careers in cybersecurity? Stick around for the rest of this video to find out the top reasons why people fail at careers in cybersecurity. But first, let's cue up that intro. If this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here we get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon so that you don't miss future content, and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. For those who want to become a Patreon, visit the link in the description. Remember, you can donate as little as $1 to help support the channel. You can also join me on the Discord server. The link is in the description. All right, let's get into the video. Cybersecurity is one of those terms that a lot of people have at least heard of if they don't know much about it. It's so prevalent that everybody seems to want to be trying to get into a cybersecurity career. A lot of people might see cybersecurity in movies or hear how cool it is, and they want to just jump right into a cybersecurity field. Now, we know that there's a huge shortage of skilled workers that have to fill millions of vacant jobs out there. That actually provides a lot of job security, right? Because there's tons of openings. And we also know that pay within technology and especially within cybersecurity is very lucrative with many people making six figures and more. Now, all these things are true, but like any career, there are reasons why people are not successful in a career and specifically not successful in cybersecurity. So let's jump into some of the reasons of why people aren't successful at careers in cybersecurity. Now, the first reason is that people seem to have one idea of what cybersecurity is like. And then when they actually find out more about cybersecurity or they get into the field, they realize that a lot of times it's different than what they had originally perceived. Think about when you see a movie that has cybersecurity in it, right? What do you see typically? You see some kind of hacker or penetration tester with a lot of action and you know a lot of activity going on with that person breaking into systems. Well, specifically those jobs, the hacker jobs and ethical hackers and penetration testers, those are a very small subset of the actual total jobs that exist within cybersecurity. Also with penetration testers and ethical hackers, these are typically jobs that you would find at a consulting company. That means that you're actually going to probably travel a lot for one, and also two, with the engagements or the, the projects, the basically the jobs that these people have when they're working with clients, they have a very specific scope on what they can do. And generally, people aren't going to just open up their entire networks to be hacked. And with that being said, in reality, the majority of the jobs that exist within cybersecurity actually deal with configuring security software, compliance type activities, reviewing logs, and creating a lot of reporting documentation. In cybersecurity, reporting and documentation are very heavy. The next reason why people aren't successful in cybersecurity is because they aren't willing to put in the time to improve their skills. Now, this is true with a lot of technology jobs, but specifically with cybersecurity, we are frequently tasked with having to know a lot about different subjects and different technologies. So different security softwares and also security implications of making changes or implementing certain things. So we have to know a whole bunch about a whole bunch of different things. For instance, 10 years ago, cloud did not exist as we know it today. Now, today, companies are racing to get into the cloud and they can't actually get into the cloud fast enough. Now, cybersecurity professionals have to be willing to learn outside of the workplace and you have to be curious in the different technologies. So you have to be willing to put in the extra work. Now, this leads us to the third reason, which is a lack of curiosity. 
Now, the most successful attackers that are attacking our organization networks are curious and they are creative. They think outside of the box. The same needs to go for cybersecurity professionals. One of the most valuable skills is thinking outside of the box. For example, you might have a piece of software that you know is supposed to act a certain way when it's provided, let's say, certain types of data. But what happens when you try to manipulate that data and you try to make the application act in an unexpected way? Developers are quite good at creating software that acts in an expected way when it receives what it thinks that's going to receive. Now, what happens when a user or a cybersecurity professional gives it something unexpected? We as cybersecurity professionals have to think this way. We have to think outside of the box and that way we can make everything more secure. If you're enjoying the content so far, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button to like the video. And I want you to go ahead and leave a comment with the hashtag cyber. The fourth reason why people are unsuccessful in cybersecurity is because they are unable to work with others within the organization. Now, in cybersecurity, we frequently have to work with people from all over the organization, from human resources to IT to finance to engineering. Cybersecurity touches all of these different departments. One day, you might be working with finance to identify permissions that are needed for specific users in one of their financial applications. The next day, you might actually be presenting metric information to senior leadership. So we have a whole bunch of different responsibilities and we deal with a lot of different people in the organization. So soft skills are extremely important when it comes to cybersecurity. The fifth reason is that you can't accept failure. Look, here's the thing. In cybersecurity, you're going to fail. It happens. And it probably will happen frequently, honestly. Software patches might not get pushed out because there's a glitch, new vulnerabilities are found, users abuse a system in a way that you didn't expect it. There's so many different ways that you can actually fail in cybersecurity, and these are actually pretty common. So nobody ever said that cybersecurity was going to be easy, but especially when you're on the defensive side, as a defender, so somebody that works within an organization usually, you have to be right every single time in order to stop these malicious type of acts. As an attacker, they only have to be right once. One time, one vulnerability, and they can get into the system. Now, cybersecurity is always evolving, and you have to have the goal to get better every day. And you have to be willing to accept failure. As you can see, based on these top reasons why people are unsuccessful in cybersecurity, there's a lot of different aspects that you need to make sure that you work on and that you're aware of. Once you start accepting these reasons and you work to make yourself better, you can be a very successful cybersecurity professional in the field. Question of the day, why do you want to get into cybersecurity? Or if you're already in cybersecurity, why did you want to get into cybersecurity? Let me know down in the comment section below. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.